Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. I am Shante Danielle, and welcome back to my channel. So right now, I'm about to start a new vlog today. So today is September, what's today? 15th? And I am now currently headed out to my son's football game. Um, he has a football game. Well, it's actually started. Oh, I almost left my keys in the car. Anyway, it actually already started. And so I'm kind of running behind because I usually leave. Because you know the football play players usually have to be there a little early. Sorry, guys, if it's get dark. I'm going into my garage. And hence on, that's why you hear all the noise. <laughs> Okay. They left early. I usually leave with them and just kind of sit out there. But y'all, the games has been like <laughs> they have took forever starting their games. It's been ridiculous. We sat out there one Saturday for like four hours before the game even started. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing it. Uh, <laughs> get somebody else to do it and. I mean, gotta straighten this out a little bit. I'm like, get somebody else to do it, and I'm not doing it, and it's gonna be your daddy. Um, <laughs> and I was like, just call me, cause you know when the game is gonna be a long day, or you know, a long time before the game start actually starts. So I just told him when he get there, kind of gauge and let me know what time it starts. And um, and I'll just head out when you guys, when you let me know. Uh, well, he wasn't a good gauger. <laughs> this I should have known. That's my fault. Um, which I tried to be ahead of the game when getting dressed because I was like, I'm not gonna wear nothing too much. I'm just gonna throw on something. I needed to take a shower. I took my shower. Uh, had my hair wrap on well apparently it wasn't doing what it needed to do and it didn't lay my hair down because yesterday as I told y'all my hair is horrible <laughs> I know people about it, like yeah everybody don't got back I, I have hard hair to manage okay it's very coarse and when it sweats it's pretty much over <laughs> so yesterday I sweated a lot tried to tie it down last night hoping it would lay back down it lay down but not is not like i would want it to so anyway i dealt with that this morning um and so i kind of wanted to look decent i always try to throw on a little something on my face makeup whatever um to try you know because you know you just do that uh <laughs> i just don't like looking crazy and it's not that I feel like I'm looking crazy I don't have the best skin so I try not to go out you know without just having a little polish to it I guess you would call it I don't know um it's the only lip gloss I got y'all let's see how I look it might look a mess I don't know anyway um <laughs> so yeah i'm hurt i'm headed out to the game now he said i'm i'm probably gonna be late so i didn't get to see him run out which is okay next weekend i'm gonna be handling this by myself because my husband is actually going to be out of town he haven't they him and his friends have like um a fellas trip every year to a football game they go to um a football game that one of them you know whoever team that they like they go to the game last year they went to atlanta i think they watched they seen the cowboys was it the cowboys i don't know child i don't know i know they went to atlanta the year before they, they went to dallas uh Year before that they went to new orleans anyway they had these these fellas trips where they go to the football games this year they going to baton rouge to the um lsu and arkansas game um so next week that's what he will be doing and me and bryce 
would be at the his house, okay? <laughs> and me and him go. I'm gonna be the one to get up, take him to the games, this and the third. So I'm getting my uh, break in. <laughs> I guess I don't know, child. I don't know. But anyway, I'll be doing it by myself next week. Um. So yeah, I'll holler at y'all when I get to the game because. Y'all hear that noise? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so y'all, tell me why I came to the wrong field. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I done came to the wrong field. I done came to the wrong field. So I'm gonna be real late. <laughs> I'm gonna be absolutely late because I came to the wrong field. I came the whole opposite wrong way. Now it's probably gonna take me about 15 minutes to get to the park. <laughs> and I'm already late, so I'll be about 30 minutes late. Yeah, I'll be about 30 minutes late. And so y'all, I had to come on and tell y'all that because honey, I I messed up. I did the big one on that. I did the big one. I wasn't thinking until I got up here. I'm like, damn. Ain't nobody up here. Oh, came to the wrong park. Oh my goodness. Well, now I gotta figure out. Now I have to figure out. Oh gosh. I'm gonna have to figure out what's gonna be the quicker way to go. Y'all, it's such a beautiful day today. It is nice outside. I just wanna hear the wind and feel it. It feels so good, y'all. It's a good day for some football. And I'm about to miss it. <laughs> Cause I wanted I didn't wanna I didn't wanna sit out here for three, four hours today. I just did. I didn't I did not wanna do it. And then the day I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. The day that I didn't come. Because I'm like, no, I'm not doing this. I'm not gonna sit out there this weekend for three hours. You know, I'm not gonna do it because I probably gotta do it next week when I'm by myself, you know, and then I'll be out there by myself looking crazy. So, that's how I'm gonna go do it this week. And I'll be darned. Honey, they come and they on time. And now I'm late to my boy gang. And that's a no-go for me. So mommy gotta get him ice cream. <laughs> out of his after his game, we're going to Sonic. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Cause uh mommy sorry. I didn't mean to do it. Okay? I'm sorry. No, mommy sorry. And I feel so bad. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, oh, I'm about to focus on speeding and going around. I'm serious, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm serious, but I'm not. I'm about, I'm about to focus on speed and going around these people. But you know, that, let me not say that in public on the World Wide Web. I'm gonna focus on driving, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna focus on driving. And I'll see y'all at the game, all right. I just made it to the game. It's the third quarter. Oh, it's in the third quarter. And I'm late. <laughs> so. Who Bryce? There go Bryce, y'all. Bryce, the ice. Bryce is 
here. Bryce, what you gonna say to the people? He made y'all because he didn't get enough playing time in his mind. I need. But anyway, we are headed to go get ice cream. Yay, what you gonna get? You gonna get the sunny blaze? What you mean you don't know? He gonna see what they have like he don't never go to Sunday. Side on because I had this gas. Bryce. Okay, Bryce. You wanna go home? Nah. No, okay. Good. I'm good. Um, so your dad said he's gonna cut your hair. <laughs> Why you look like that? Let's go. Ain't too loud. Uh I hope nobody's watching. They, they don't know. I don't know. It's all anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a long time. And by this time, he probably gone. go to kill when downtown you want to go, to go to sunny we probably could have went to the one on cancer while i'm going all the way to down this way that's what we're gonna do we're gonna turn around so you guys we made it to downtown little rock we're about to head to Kilwins and get us some ice cream. There's a lot of people down here this weekend. I think they have like a food truck festival. We might come to it tomorrow. <laughs> but right now, we're about to get some ice cream and go home. <laughs> so I'll see y'all inside. In the car, we got our ice cream. It took us a minute. I got the uh turtle cheesecake. This is my first time ever trying this one. It's fire. What you got? I got the Arkansas one. Show the people. I got the Arkansas mud, river mud, mm -hmm. and a waffle bowl. I got the waffle cone. It's good. It's got caramel, chocolate chips, and pecans. A pecans in it. Can I taste it? Mm -mm. <laughs> what a cheesecake taste. Excuse me. What a cheesecake taste. You like it? It's good. So we back. We done made it home, as you can see. Um, I'm about to start getting ready for the little dinner party tonight at Longhorn. We're gonna wear blue jean and black tonight, so I'm about to start getting ready. So as you can see, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I just washed my hair and dried it. I done sit under the hot dryer. <laughs> hot dryer. 
it'll be hot child but anywho i just got from under the dryer so i'm about to take my shower and start getting dressed up. and i'm about to take a shower and i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna talk to y'all why i'm doing my makeup okay so I'll see y'all in a minute hey y'all so i'm back i'm about to get dressed to go to my mother's little dinner it's very casual we won the longhorn so it's nothing too fancy okay so we decided to go with a theme of um blue jean and um blue jean and black something that everybody has since it was last minute so my mother's birthday is coming up her birthday is actually on Monday, on the 18th. She is a Virgo, Virgo. Very sweet lady, very mean lady, okay? But <laughs> she my mama, you better not miss what, okay? Um, <laughs> so we going out to celebrate with her in the fam bam tonight at Longhorn. She wants to go to Longhorns, which is kind of crazy for me because <laughs> She be wanting us to cook, y'all. And we don't be liking cooking. And she our mama. And she should know that because she don't like cooking. <laughs> and so, usually she would like for us to get together and cook for her. Well, this time she said she wants to go to Longhorn. Okay. So, we went we went to Longhorn tonight. About to get my eyebrows ready. Uh, usually this is the first thing that I do when I do my makeup. Um, I think you guys have seen me do my makeup before. Probably the video that comes out before this one. You'll see me doing my makeup. It's basically the same routine. Um, just a little quick, casual, nothing too fancy, just something real quick. Um, and polished, I guess, a polished look. So, yeah. That is where I am headed to right now. Uh, my mom, she will be turning 70, y'all. 70. She is getting up there, honey. And she just is feisty as she always been. And, you know, she has a little medical issues going on. But we just going to cherish every moment that we have with her. And she going to tell us that every time she see us. <laughs> We better cherish her while she's here. Girl, we cherish you. But yeah. <laughs> That's my mama. So I just decided to come sit down and talk to y'all. Um, I don't think I ever done a sit down with me. Got my little drinky, drinkity drink or whatever. <laughs> it's some juice. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm about to go in with this concealer. It is the beautiful bronze color of the LA Girl, LA Girl Pro. You know, you can buy this at any hair store. Um, if y'all hear a beeping sound, that's my dryer. I was washing, y'all. But yeah, that's what's going on right now. Nothing too much. We probably get together um after the dinner girl because y'all my mama likes to kick it she said she old and she wants to kick it <laughs> so she wants to make sure she get her kicking it okay so what i do with this is i just go in my uh heavy um pink native areas in areas that is high in um, pores, <laughs> where you can see a lot of my pores, I like to go in with this concealer. Um, I do apologize y'all for looking down. I'm just so used to looking in my mirror when I'm doing my makeup. So I do apologize for that y'all. So if I'm not looking at y'all, please forgive me. Um, But I'm gonna try to look in it y'all while I'm talking um yeah so y'all she be want to get her kicking it in you hear me so we probably get together again this eat well not again but you know after the dinner 
And so that's what we're gonna do. Um, like I said before, uh, right now it's quiet in my house because Bryce and Brent is gonna get a haircut. We probably be running a little behind cause he had some stuff to do beforehand. And so I just wanna make sure that I'm ready so we could just leave when he gets ready. And like I said, y'all, it's very casual. Y'all, if you've been a Longhorns, you know it is very casual. And, um, so, yeah. But, y'all, I just wanted to talk to y'all about life. An update on my life right now. Going to school. Oh, my goodness. You know, a woman in my age is like... Girl, what was you thinking? But then, I I cannot lie and say that it is not so motivational for me right now going back to school and seeing myself do this because it this is something that I always wanted. I always wanted to complete school, get my degree, and get my career going. And I never could because I always allowed things to get in my way and block me from what I want to do and this time I have the opportunity and it's not like and I'm saying it like I never had the opportunity to do so I always had the opportunity but I always felt like I needed to work and not focus on going to school right at the at the moment because I was so dealing with life and the finances of living and being a parent you know I just didn't want to take that time out and focus on school. I wanted to be able to help provide for my family. So I'm really like being, I won't say selfish right now, but I'm really just being, feeling like I'm really made a big step in my life to actually go ahead with this because 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 I, this is, it is hard. I'm not going to lie. It's very hard. Um, I see so many jobs that's popping up in my career field um, that I'm like, I want to apply for them. <laughs> and it's like, no, Shantae, you got to focus on what you're doing. You can't keep going, making the same patterns all the time. You can't do that. And I am okay with that. I am really okay with that, but I still have my moments where it's like, I want them. I want a job. And I feel like that's okay. It's growing pains for me, you know, just really sitting in it. So I'm really, I'm really sitting in that, you know, for me. I'm happy about it. It's so much, you guys. It's so much that I want to do. It's so, it's like crowding my back brain. But like right now, I'm getting clarity because I'm like doing the things that I want to do. I'm going back to school to go in the career field that I want to go in. I'm actually making YouTube videos. And after that, I got other stuff that I want to do too. Excuse me, I just speak. But, uh... <laughs> It's like so much other stuff that I want to do too. Like, I feel like I'm out of my box. I'm out of my shell. I'm about to do this. You know, I had my little break from YouTube of uh, YouTube or whatever because I was kind of getting discouraged. I wouldn't even really say discouraged. It's just some things that I wanted to do before. I, because of my quality and things like that. I want a better quality camera and all that stuff. So they kind of got in my way of, um, you know, me filming and stuff like that. But other than that, that was the only thing that really took me out of filming again. And then as I really wasn't doing much. It wasn't nothing going on. Same old, same old. So it was like, why? Why? Why keep on trying to, you know. Uh, why record when I ain't really have much going on? So, right now, I'm just gonna set my I'm just gonna put the setting powder on, look like I need some more. It's a NYX dewy finish. I just like spraying this in between um uh, applications 
like if I put on my concealer, I like to set my face and then I like to go back in with my foundation, then set my face. Then I like to go in, put my powder on because today I'm not doing like my highlight and setting powder and none of that stuff. I'm just basically doing uh, makeup. <clears throat> that's it. Just foundation, lash, pretty much that's going to be it. Okay? Because we're going to Longhorns, right? Right. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. So, that kind of got me in the mood. But I want to do so much more. Like, it's just like, should I say, if you can get through this, girl, just imagine what you're going to do when you complete this. And you know you got it in the bag. And you know you complete things that you want. And take these goals head on. Girl, you gonna be cold-blooded. <laughs> Cause I once was told I was in my own way. True statement. That's the really shit I ever heard. Okay. Really sh I ever heard. So <clears throat> um, yeah. <laughs> I had to I had to I almost, I had to clear my throat on it because literally that's the real that's the really sh I ever heard. Okay. Um, I was told that I was in my own way. And ever since I heard that, I had so many life changes happen during that time. I actually had a reading. It was my cousin's friend. Um, she did a reading on me. And the questions that I asked, you know about my life and things that I wanted and she asked a couple of questions and she pulled some cards and she just looked like confused and she was like you in your own way I'm like girl tell me about it <laughs> she said that uh, despite it, it, on top of I ain't gonna say despite on top of all the stuff she was telling me prior to that. Like, girl, how did you know? <laughs> and so since then, I always had that in the back of my mind, y'all, of me being in my own way. And so after that, life happens. Um, I started getting in tune with myself more uh, spiritually. Um... I'm still on that journey and I, I believe that journey will never end because it's it's a spiritual journey as well as a healing journey because when you go spiritually you have to heal from things mentally you feel me so to see certain things in your spiritual journey so I'm still I'm still going through my spiritual journey um I'm not perfect. I never said I was. I never tell y'all I am perfect. I am not at all. I have so many things that I can tell you about myself that I am aware of, that I do take accountability of, that I know about me. But I feel like it be hindering me too because... <laughs> Because now I've got so used to being in my own way, I still have the same uh, behaviors, and and it's hard to get rid of some of those behaviors. Like I can, I know what I'm doing mentally that I don't need to be doing, but my behaviors is automatically complying with what I'm used to doing. So yeah, that's a journey. <laughs> That is absolutely a journey. Please. Please. If you have any. No. Because I wouldn't say that. Because it's my own journey. So I have to deal with it in my way. And that's when I'm learning to y'all. Some things you just have to deal in your own way. No judgments on here. Okay. No judgments on you. Because everybody has to deal with things in their own way. So. I put my foundation on. I was actually, I don't think I showed y'all. I, I showed y'all this before, but I, I used Chanel, um, Chanel foundation. 
and BD 141. Um, I'm about to set my face again. Okay. Y'all, I'm I literally don't do nothing as far as like my makeup. I mean sometimes I do all the contouring and stuff, but child not today. I'm not. And we just trying to look a little polished. That's that's it. I probably put on a little um I probably put on a little bronzer to make me shimmer, whatever. I probably do that and that's it. But yeah, this this is my everyday look, child. So I'm sorry. I'm not no makeup guru. I just do what I do. <laughs> what works for me. But if you have some tips on on what I could do to cover some of these pores I got, child, I would greatly appreciate it. Um I'm looking for something, y'all. I'm sorry. Alright y'all, so this is like a pencil I got from um, Ross. It came in a pack. It was by Paris Hilton. I'm just going in under my eye with it. That's it. That's all I'm doing. It's going under my eye. But yeah y'all, it has been a journey and I am here for it. It has not been easy for me though. I won't sit here and lie to y'all about that. But it has definitely taught me a lot. Um, and I'm just, I'm just here for the growth. Like I'm here for the growth for real. Um, I'm thankful for my husband. Um, he's always, well, he haven't always, but he has become so supportive of, supportive of things that I want to do. Um, and I appreciate him for that because I know that's hard for him because he and Aquarius child and <laughs> I don't know about I don't know about all Aquarius but he is the type of person I ain't gonna say his zodiac sign but he the type of person is that he he's not very supportive on things that's not um traditional I would say like if one day say if I'm in my career and I say well now I want to be a real estate agent that's coming soon though for real in real life <laughs> I want to be a real estate agent he used to be like you can't do that <laughs> Are you think you on there? That was him. And now he kind of like. Okay, babe. But then now, too, I've learned how to approach him with certain things. Because I'm telling him stuff and he's taking it as I'm trying to do all these things at once. In reality, I really am. But I know that's impossible if y'all get what I'm trying to say. Like, I do want to do, I want to wear a number of hats, right? Because I feel like multiple incomes will only allow me to have a certain lifestyle that I want, right? So, and that's what I've learned with just set just settling for things like for the jobs that I had in the past and stuff. So just settling for those things made me not want to reach for nothing else. I kinda got like, you know, 
I just kind of got comfortable with it. And so I was, it was working, you know, it, it works. So why mess it up? And so he has that mindset. And so, but I don't have that mindset. Like I have a mindset of, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this. It's gonna bring us some money. Can we help people doing this? Is this gonna be a good thing? All right, we're gonna build good character with these things and be able to sell it and help people mentally. You know what I'm saying? Mentally and financially. That's what type of stuff I be thinking about. He's like, go to work. Get a 401k. And that's cool. I'm okay with it. If that's what he wants to do. But that's not what I want to do. <laughs> so, me. If I have to carry that. Because that's something that I want. And not try to pressure him into doing stuff that I want. As long as he support it. I, I, I do not care anymore. Like, it used to be a thing where... I wanted him to want more and do more, but it was like, this is my husband. I love my husband for who he was at that time, you know, for where he, for who he is. Like, when I met him, I was in between jobs, but I had my own place. I mean, it was me and Jada. He was going through something. Actually, he was going, I'll be real. He was just going, he was going through a divorce when I met him. And so I didn't really take him serious, right? But he, he had good ethics, like, as far as, like, being a good human. So he had ethics on going to work every day. He was going to work him a job, child. He was going to work a job. Okay? <laughs> so I like that about him. I like the fact that he... Spent time with his kids. He was in his kids' life. You know, I like the fact that he did have the work ethic because that caused him to be able to. He he liked doing things. Sorry, y'all. He liked doing things with his hands. He liked working on stuff. He liked doing all other stuff outside of work that he he do. I don't know if he enjoy doing it, but he just. He just picks on things and be able to fix things all the time. So I enjoyed that about him because that reminded me of my dad. Because my dad was like that. And so he's been that type of guy. You know, he 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 attracted me because he reminded me of my dad. Ain't that crazy? He really did. He my daddy went to work every day. He fixed stuff around the house. My daddy hell, my daddy built a whole room on our house. <laughs> When I was little, and I feel like my my husband would do that if he just really had the time to do it. I feel like, and I wanted it. I feel like he would do that. Ooh, all I gotta do is do is get the two by four. <laughs> I feel like that would be my husband, but and so that would attract me to him. And so I can't put that on what my wants and needs on him because at the end of the day. Him being who he is, is what made me fall in love with him. So, I had to learn that. That's why I'm saying all that to say that. <laughs> I had to, I had to learn that. I didn't, I couldn't like push him to do what I wanted him to do. No. It's not about him, it's about me. At this point. Because he's doing what he's want to do. Him doing what he do, is what made me want him. Okay? <laughs> But, you know, not to say he, he, it might change for him, you know, at some point. Maybe if he see me doing some stuff, he might want to start doing stuff, you know. Who knows? But, um, that made me realize, should I say, it, he do what he want to do. He loves what he does. Love what you do. And stop trying to make him be who you want him to be. No. And I was like, you know what, Seth? You are absolutely right. <laughs> Girl, go sit down somewhere. <laughs> ah, that's what I was thinking, y'all. I'm like, Girl, go sit down somewhere. 
Cause he doing what he would love to do. You go do what you want to do. And so, here we are. I'm back in school. Get my degree and start my career. Yes, yes. And then I got plans on other things that I want to do with my career with that. And it's something totally opposite. But I feel like financially it'll get me in a place where, you know, I want to be. So, yeah. I'm not doing anything to my hair, y'all. I'm just wearing it flat. If y'all know, I just wore my hair flat. That's it. That's all. So, I think I'm going to wrap this video up. Just a little quick little sit down with me while I do my makeup. I just want to talk to y'all and be like, hey, life update. Let me tell y'all how I've been feeling, y'all. So, just a little life update on um, where my mindset was uh, going in school, going and being in school and still dealing with the pressures of wanting to work and wanting to do things that's outside of what I've been calling to do all these years and haven't done it because I want something to distract, to distract me <laughs> for whatever reason. I don't know. Um getting ready for my mom's birthday um and yeah and just letting y'all know the dynamics of me and my husband and where we are today um with our marriage and our relationship and my thought process with how i treated things too so treated our relationship i would say so i just wanted to sit down and talk to y'all I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope I wasn't all over the place. Because I'm saying to get all over the place because I've been wanting to say so much. And when I want to sit down and like write it out, what I'm going to talk about, then I can't think of nothing. So then when I get on camera, I can think of stuff. <laughs> but we're going to work on it, okay? So I'm going to see y'all in a bit. I'm about to go put on some lips and um, my clothes. And I'll be back and I'll show y'all the finished look. All right, y'all, bye. So yeah, just a cute little, a quick little look. So I finished my makeup. I just put on some powder and some highlighter and some little gloves. <laughs> and I threw on this little romper from Sheen um, and this little jacket and my Vans, if y'all can see with my little ankle bracelet, and this is what I'll be wearing to Long Hoy to the birthday party. So I'll see y'all when we get there. <laughs> y'all, look at my sister though, she looks so cute. Ooh, got a beep sound, <laughs> girl. <laughs> get you on the camera. Look at the birthday girl. Hey. Look at. Get the birthday girl and the birthday husband. <laughs> I get it. How y'all doing? Y'all wanna sit down? So y'all, we have made it too long. We currently waiting. Waiting on to be seated. They wait for the rest of our party to show up. So I just to come in and say that. And we'll holler at y'all. What's that? Happy birthday, Hattery. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Probably boy. <laughs> <laughs> Teenage. Boy, you ten. Ten. Eleven. You sure live. 
Hey Kim, you look so pretty. <laughs> Girl, bye. I don't know hey girl, you look so pretty. What's up, Shantae? What's your fan base called? Uh, nothing right now. Yeah, so. <laughs> what y'all gonna say to Gigi? <laughs> hey girl, what you doing? I'm trying to catch this watermelon. You're going to do what? That's your watermelon. Ah, yeah. <laughs> what you going to make with the watermelon? Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, what's that all about? Don't do that. Did I see you up there at the school, um, standing by the teacher? <laughs> you, were <up> there at the school. <laughs> you were being good, girl. <laughs> girl. Okay, all right, that's fine. Okay, I'm feeling too sexy to accept requests. Okay, alright, that's fine, okay Think we got too sexy for that metro house Diamond popped out, almost swallowed 60,000 Section need more things in here, I like it crowded Yeah, I like it crowded Oh, you like the boy, well tell me what you like about him You a turtle, little daddy, ain't no wife about it I'ma fuck up friends and send them back to metro house Look at her grandbaby. Boom. Boom. <laughs> they just bad together. <laughs> I guess. What you got somewhere you going? Uh, okay. All right, my husband don't want to ride with me, y'all. Go. I, we can, whatever you want to do, it don't matter to me. All right. Y'all, it is night. We just got through eating. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to. Lord, you better go in there and get them. <laughs> she ran right back. <laughs> I ate, I ate today, honey. I ate, I ate down. You hear me? I usually don't eat, but I ate down today. I had me some asparagus, some rice, some salmon. I ain't had no alcohol though, y'all. Good for me. I'm looking oily. So right now, we are about to head over to my sister's house. My mom won't go over there. Uh, I'm gonna go there. Sorry, y'all. I didn't bring my brush to put no pad on. So I just got a dip. <laughs> so, she left her keys in the restaurant. 
But anyway, we gonna sit over there for about an hour. And we going to the house, cause I'm tired, I'm sleepy. I really need to be doing some homework right now, to be honest with y'all. I ran by myself, y'all. <laughs> Bryce went with my brother to his house with my nephew. <sighs> y'all can't even see me. But yeah, Bryce went to my brother's house. I'm waiting on them to come out the, um, the restaurant. Because we can't go in my sister's house till she gets to her house. So I'm waiting. Anyway, Bryce went with my brother. He had rode with me up here. And Brent met us up here. Cause... Tag, hey, y'all got the itis. Brent met me up here because he had a job to do. And so he was going to be late. So I had drove. And he, we drove separate cars, basically. And Bryce had rode with me. But anyway... He went over my brother's house. Bryce went to my brother's and we're about to head over Sign House for a quick little minute. <sighs> What's up you guys? So I'm back home as you can see. <sighs> we have called it a night. We didn't do a whole lot. We went to uh, my sister's house and kind of just talked and laughed and played around for a second. And then my mom went home and we came home so now we are getting ready for bed and i just want to close out this vlog and tell you guys thank you for watching if you have watched this far in the vlog thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you like the content and i'll see you in the next video all right guys see you you already know i want to love